Hi, friends. It's Deb. And if you're listening to me now as I'm going live, I thought I would just pop in here. Uh, maybe let me know that you're here live, hashtag live, or if you're watching this later, hashtag replay. Uh, this morning in our insight meditation class that I hold every Friday morning at 830 Central Time, I used a quote by John Kabat-Zinn to inspire our practice. And I wanted to share that quote with you. And the quote is, mindfulness is often spoken of synonymously as insight meditation, which means a deep, penetrative, non-conceptual seeing into the nature of mind and world. And this seeing requires a spirit of perpetual and persistent inquiry, as in, what is this? Toward whatever arises in awareness and toward who is attending and who is seeing, who is meditating. And that's exactly what we did in our practice today. Lately, I have been doing my own self-inquiry, in fact, all week long. I've had to spend more time in solitude with myself and needed that sacred space to deal with what has been arising internally. Uh, you may have noticed or been disappointed with some classes that I canceled throughout the week. And even those of you that I had intended on meeting with as well. So my sincere apologies for that. However, it was important for me to take the time to initiate further the self-healing process. So unfortunately, my PTSD symptoms were activated uh, by a few recent factors external to me, as well as a horrific nightmare I had recently. I imagine we all experience these unpleasant feelings from time to time. And I know I didn't want to re-traumatize myself. And with my continued spiritual practice and dedication, I am emerging out of that space. I also know that it is a journey that we all are <laughs> probably too familiar with. The shadows of the past being substituted for what is in the now. And because of these lingering shadows, I know I felt flawed and unworthy, and perhaps you do too when that occurs for you. And as I said, certainly that was my experience uh, this week. So as I worked with my own sacred inner dialogue, I unveiled those blockages of fear and doubt that were really leading me into darkness. And I can say that my shining light on the blockages, in essence, uh, they, they, they scatter, right? Just like uh, roaches, <laughs> you could say. When I acknowledge those inner thoughts and I work with the process, I have the opportunity to rewrite and restructure them. And certainly connecting with my source or whatever you may call it for yourself, God, universe, et cetera, higher self, uh, that sees my value. But I also have to see my value by acknowledging what the obstacles are to seeing, right? And this allows any patterns that I have in my mindset to be rewritten. So my own activation of PTSD was in regard to fear of abuse in whatever form it may take. And as I said, there were some external circumstances uh, that had occurred. And by focusing on what arisen, I was in fact, uh, you could say, abusing myself even further. So when I had that opportunity to just sit with my feelings, sitting with any memories, the fears, and I heard them, I listened to them. And in response, I asked them to also hear me. And when I did that, a shift occurred. And too many times we want to spiritually push away what is arising for us, pushing away the emotions. It's called spiritual bypass, actually. And you see, acknowledgement is a mighty step that we take. When I ask the energy of 
the apprehension of emotional pain, if it can hear me, then it starts the transformational process to give me more space. So if I ask it, can you hear me? And please start the transformational process to give me more space. It will. And I can then make the statement to fill that space with trust and inner peace. And you see what I've done here is I've changed the program. Uh, as many of you know, I'm, I'm a techie. I've been a web designer for many years, etc. So for me, the way I liken it to is uninstalling a software program that no longer is beneficial. So that's what we're doing. We're uninstalling that old programming of our past and we're replacing it with universal truth. So it comes from us internally. We make the decision to initiate that self-healing process. Now, it won't be found external to us. Now, certainly all the tools of sound healing and energy healing, meditation, spiritual coaching, crystals, all those things can assist us, right? Can assist us on the journey, but it's up to me to acknowledge and allow the light to shine in. So I know here on this group, I've been talking about meditation and mindfulness and sound healing, but I want to share with you more on a spiritual basis. That is a major aspect of who I am, having been a spiritual teacher for um, over 30 years. Uh, as you can see, too, that even with the work I have accomplished in healing for myself, symptoms can still arise. And that's why it's so vital to be tuned into yourself and recognize when it's time to prioritize self-care. And that's what I've done this week. And what I'm feeling guided to do, I was going to present this as a program otherwise, but the five-day program that I spoke about the other day on self-doubt, overcoming self-doubt and confidence, I feel guided to share that here in the Facebook group itself. So it will be an opportunity for transformation as we journey together. And I'll share the tools that I use, uh, the inner dialogue system I use, I'll share some journaling prompts, everything that I had planned uh, for the program and probably more since I'm still working with all of this myself coming out of, of this space this week. But sharing affirmations and certainly sound and energy healing to help pave the way for restoration. And I certainly encourage discussion. So if you're not aware uh, here in the group, there is an anonymous posting feature in, in the group. So if you don't feel comfortable sharing with your name attached to the post, you can certainly use that anonymous posting feature. I, I just came across it not too long ago and, and I thought, wow, what a brilliant way for people to share something when they, they really don't want to confide, uh, from, from the place of, you know, with their name to it and have feel that there's judgment uh, from other people. And certainly in this group, I hope we wouldn't judge anybody by what they would share either. The last thing is I just really want to extend my appreciation to all of you for your support here in the group, for uh, the comments that you make on some of the, you know, on the posts that I make and uh, our other teachers who are starting to post as well too. And I appreciate your support for the work uh, that I do and offer and share with you, uh, be it sound baths or meditations, whatever it may be, and hopefully moving into some other things that I'd like to share with you from digging into my archives and kind of retooling some of those ideas like this very one, this uh, overcoming self-doubt and cultivating confidence. So I'm looking forward to starting our journey in this next week. Uh, and uh, I hope you will uh, participate in what I have to share with you. So there will be some little posts during the day, Monday through Friday uh, next week. And I just thank you again so much for being here. And uh, you fill my heart with such joy when I see you posting 
and you participating in classes and even working one-on-one with me, I just feel such joy that I could be of service in that way because that is my DNA (laughs) is to be of service to as many people as I can be to. So thank you again, my friends, and I wish you such peace and many blessings.